So when we're making models, invariably you'll come across a situation whereby you need to protect a certain area of your model and not get any paint on it. Now, there's a few things you can use. You can use some masking tape and I use these masking tapes here and I'll put a link in the description. There's all various sizes of them. And these are really, really good for masking off larger areas or flatter areas. But when you get areas that are really delicate, such as this Daenerys bust face here, if you wanted to protect the face, masking tape would be an option. But there must be another option out there. And what we're going to be using today to protect Daenerys's face here is this stuff, the Vallejo Liquid Mask. Now this, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get it from, is a relatively cheap option. And what Liquid Mask allows you to do is physically paint on the areas that you want to protect from getting paint on. It's as simple as that. So if we open it up, have a little look inside, you can see it's just like a greeny coloured liquid. If we have a smell, it does smell chemically, but um, it's not a horrible, nasty smell, and it certainly is not emanating through the room when I take the lid off, but it has got a chemical smell to it. And the other things you're going to need, apart from the liquid mask, are you're going to need brushes. Now, I would not recommend you use your best brushes for this, so I'm just going to use a couple of old brushes I've got lying around. Having said that, as long as you clean the liquid mask off there relatively quickly, it comes off fine off the brush, so it's not going to literally destroy them, but I always use an old brush just to do it. And I'm going to show you it on two things. I'll put it on a flat surface, just an old uh, calibration uh, test that I've made there, and we'll also do the Daenerys head so you can see it working in two folds. So let's do it on the flat surface first. It's literally a case of get your liquid mask, make sure you shake this up really, really, really well, get some on your brush and paint it on. And pretty much that is as simple as it gets. Now when it goes on you'll see that it's green, but as it starts to dry it will go transparent. Now the drying time on this will depend on a couple of factors. How warm is it in your room? What's the humidity factor in your room? So I'm not going to say you must leave this for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You leave it on until it starts to go clear and that's the time when it becomes safe to start to paint over the top of it. Now one of the problems you can get with liquid mask is if you leave it on too long. If you leave it on for like 24, 48 hours, it really does start to become more and more difficult to get it out of the nooks and the crannies of your model. So that's how easy it is to go on. We don't need any more than that. Now, one of the things you will find is when you put it on, you'll see that little section there. Have I covered that section, haven't I? I'm not sure because it's starting to go clear as it dries. So if you're not sure, just give it another blast over. Some people suggest dabbing it on. I suggest doing dabbing and brushing, whatever you would rather do. And there we go. And once that's on, I'm just going to put it to one side to dry. So now if we move on to a more complicated model, such as Daenerys here, obviously I need to make sure that my brush is up for the, for the challenge. Now this brush, because it's a bit of a wide angled brush, I don't really want to be carefully going over here. I want to be protecting the hair, or, or rather the face, because I'm going to be painting the hair next. So I'm just going to take a brush that's a little bit finer, uh, so I can go down the edges, and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to get some of this on, and literally, very, very carefully, just paint it into the areas I want to protect. It's a little bit laborious, like any kind of painting, but same process, get it on there, let it dry. When it goes clear, you're ready to do your painting. So we'll continue to paint this now. I'm not going to talk you through the whole thing. And uh, when, it, when it's all painted on, we'll come back to it and uh, we will show you what's the next stage is. Okay, so I think I've covered the whole model. And as you can see, one of the things that I was saying to you is it's starting to dry clear and you start to say, suggest and question yourself, have I actually painted those bits or not? But I'm, I'm confident that I've painted pretty much most of it. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it to dry. And as I said to you, you know, whether you leave it for 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, all depends on your environment. But you need to be leaving it alone until it starts to go clear. And uh, we'll come back to it at that stage and then we'll, we'll show you what's to do next and I'll paint the rest of it and then we can show you how you get this liquid mask off and if all has gone well 
Oh, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely experience. So it's been about 40 minutes now and when it gets tacky, when you can touch it without it coming off on your finger and when it starts to go clear, as you can see there, it's time for you to paint over it and it's quite, it will protect your paint at this stage. So now is the perfect time for us to get that layer of paint on and I'm going to be painting the hair white with some white primer undercoat for my next stage of the model and I'm going to get it all over the face just so you can see what happens. Okay, so there now you can see that I've given it a layer of white and I've made sure to get that white all over the face as well, just to show you what happens when you take the liquid mask off. On the whole, it just scrapes off, but there's a few things you can use to help you get into the nooks and crannies if it doesn't. And these are the things that I use. Either a little toothpick, a little wooden toothpick. I'll use one of these flossing devices here and I'll use the sharp point on there. I will use this stuff, which is just some blue tack. It's called here in the UK. I'm not sure what it's called around the world. Just some sticky little uh, plasticine stuff that you can dab on and pull off. Or I'll get some tweezers to get into the finer points to get it off. But on the whole, it just comes off with your fingertips. So let's see how we get on. OK, so let's start with this one here. Now, it's tacky. You know, it's ready to it's ready to be painted over as we've done with the Daenerys head. But we want to get it off. So this is how simple it is to get off. Just get your finger into the corner, lift it off, and you can see, look at that, it literally just peels away. Now if you're lucky, it'll come off in one go. If it doesn't, same again until it comes off. And there you go. Pretty much most of it off. There's a little bit left in the uh, in the dot there. So let's just get a toothpick and uh, get it off that way. There we go. As you can see, it's off. And that's great on a piece that's non-protected. So let's try it on a piece that's been protected, the Daenerys head. So we'll start with our fingers to see if that works. Let's give it a little lift. There we go. So you can see I've started a little section there and I'm literally just gonna pick it off. And you can see quite clearly that the paint underneath is well protected. Now, if you get little bits in the corners there, you literally just take your toothpick or your plastic tooth uh, cleaner and you just literally take it out. It's really easy, no problem. And you just keep going till it's all gone. So easy it is to use the liquid mask and I hope I've taken away the fear that you may have had about using this. Just make sure that you don't leave it on too long as that's when you start to get problems with it and uh, it will protect your paintwork as well as your masking tape and it's a tool for the toolbox. Now if you want to buy some of this it's in the item description. Please like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, join the Patreon, above all comment and hope you've enjoyed today. See you next time. Mm -hmm.